You don't speak to Lord Carnage in such a casual manner. First you make an offering to his army of robotic eels. Then challenge him to a game of Dirt Showdown and let him win. It's Dirt Showdown, and whenever a new Dirt game is about to be released, I get all giddy inside because I've been a fan of this series since the first one. If it's from Codemasters, you know it's going to be good because, as their name suggests, they are the masters of code, but can they defeat the masters of the universe? Probably not, but I'll bet they make better video games than He-Man. His computer skills were lacking. If you love fun arcade-style racing games, I think you'll love Dirt Showdown, as long as you know what to expect. And here's what not to expect, the wonderful, old-school Colin McRae Rally Games. Dirt Showdown is awesome, but it is the complete antithesis of Codemaster's excellent Colin McRae rally series, which I remember so fondly. If they would put guns on these cars, they'd have a direct competitor to Twisted Metal. And you know, I had some mixed opinions going into Dirt Showdown because my favorite events in the Dirt racing games have always been the rally races. Or land rushes or straightforward racing events. And this game is way more about vehicular combat, demolition derby, and explodey blinky things all over the place. If your favorite parts of the Dirt games are the stadium events and Gymkhana, then Dirt Showdown is the dirt for you. But what if your favorite parts of the Dirt games are the straightforward rally events? Well, as long as you like to have fun with your racing games, Dirt Showdown may still be the dirt for you because it's outrageously fun. It's like the previous Dirt installments infused with a heavy dose of sugar and caffeine, where most of the vehicles look like the Mad Max Interceptor from a post-apocalyptic nuclear wasteland. Like previous Dirt games, there's a wide variety of events that you compete in as you make your way through the single-player campaign in Dirt Showdown, which is where you unlock all of the new cars and earn money to slightly upgrade them. You're a bona fide superstar, my friend. Although I think you'll still want to strangle the announcer, and let's be honest here, whenever Lord Carnage doesn't get first place, somewhere a dolphin strangles a panda. As in Dirt 2 and Dirt 3, my least favorite events are anything where you have to spin a car around something and hit targets. My most favorite events in this game are everything else. Whoever did the audio design and music selection deserves a medal, and the replays are still seizure-inducing, yet totally fun to watch, and you can automatically post them on YouTube. Dirt Showdown runs extremely smoothly, looks great on a big screen TV, and has wonderful surround sound audio design, with a lot of low-range bass to accentuate the crunches and crashes that you'll be enduring throughout. Sure, it's a sugar-coated romp through the world of dirt and may not be what all Codemasters fans were hoping to see as the sequel to the amazing Dirt 3. But I'm not sure it is a direct sequel, it seems like more of a spin-off. And taken as such, it's really good and lends itself well to multiplayer, because all of the events are extremely short and fast. And since most people online drive like assholes anyway, that perfectly fits the style of this game. 
where the game rewards you for driving like an asshole. I knew it! I'm surrounded by people driving like assholes. Nice overtake. Keep driving, assholes! We're watching the PlayStation 3 version. This is also available on Xbox 360 and PC. It's Dirt Showdown. Time to show Dirt who's boss. Just couldn't hold on. It's, it's over. over.